All right, I got my cylinder head all prepped up, ready for the paint. Gonna hit it with this uh, caliper paint. And uh, I got it all sanded down with 320 grit. I got all the holes uh, mashed off. And we're ready to do this. So. I'm going to spray on the first coat. It's going to be very thin. So I'll come back and show you guys what it's looking like. Alright, so I just threw on a very light coat. Just so it can get tacky. Very light. Real, real light. Can't even tell it on. I mean, yeah, you can, but you know what I'm saying? It's just very light. So I'll be back and show you guys the rest. Alright, it's time for the second coat. Yeah, that one went in, went on a little, a little thicker. You know what? I forgot about this, this strip up here, which I don't even think it matters because the intake sit right there. All right, so yeah, this here, this strip, yeah, it is visible. I just remembered. Right, I'll hit it up though. It's gonna look good. This will probably be the last uh, light far away coat before I throw on the, the darker coat. The Social one. Yeah, this will be the last coat for uh, for I throw on the heavier coat. Next coat will be heavier. It's time to uh, unmask it. See what it looks like. See the little imperfections and stuff from the tape. Let's see what we got. Take that off. Paint's still a little tacky, but I'd rather take it off now. There we go. I use what kind of tape is this? Packing tape or something like that. I'll use the wrong one, but I thought it would be thought it would be good. There we go. Somebody sent any messages. But yeah, I've heard painters say that. Best to take the masking tape off before it completely dries because you could peel the paint off with it. I think that would probably apply to something like a smooth surface or something. Not on this. This uh Alright, go to head. Bam, 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 looking good. Sweet. Oh, yeah. 